Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be making an entire tycoon using this tycoon kit right here. So this is one of the oldest tycoon kits, but it's actually pretty good because it has everything we need. If y'all don't know already, I know pretty much nothing about coding. So what we are going to do, we are going to use this thing for all of the scripts. Then I'm going to modify all of the models right here and make them look really nice. Then once we finish this actual tycoon part, then I'll make the entire map and all that stuff. So this is most likely gonna be a series. But yeah, so right now it's not looking too good. So we're gonna go ahead and model some new stuff, like new buttons, cause this button is just like kinda, kinda just a circle. Also, I did kinda get this idea from a person named Row Builder. But yeah, which I was already kinda looking at tycoon kits anyway, because I have no idea how to code. But it has every basic thing we need, such as the buttons and all of the scripts worked, went ahead and checked out. So there's these things right here, an upgrader and that as well. So first what we're going to do is we're going to model some better buttons and also model some better droppers. So here we are in Blender. Let's go ahead and add a cylinder. Let's go ahead and add like eight sides. Eight sides seems like it would be good. Eight or nine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stick with eight sides. Now let's go ahead and scale it down like this. And buttons are pretty easy, so we won't go like too detailed. But let's go ahead and go like that. That looks about good. Select the top, let's just duplicate it, scale it down, move it up, and just bevel the top. This is kind of like the casual tycoon button right here. So nothing too special, but what we'll actually do, we'll scale it down a little bit more. And then there we go. So that will go ahead and be our button right there. So what we'll do, we'll actually color this inside of Roblox Studio ourselves. So then we can go ahead and make it neon and then change the colors very easily whenever we need to change the color of the buttons. So that will go ahead and be our simple button. Let's move that to the side now. And now for the dropper. I don't really have too much ideas for a dropper. Let's just go ahead and start it and maybe we can figure out what we are going to do. So let's go ahead and probably extrude it up. Actually, let's make it like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. Extrude it up and it's got to slowly get smaller as well and slowly get rotated. Also, my idea for the theme of this tycoon is energy. So just like energy tycoon. So we're going to try to make this like look like it has energy and stuff. So I finished making a dropper right here and an upgrader. I'll go ahead and add the like inside part of an upgrader inside the studio yeah so here is one of the droppers right here so i'm gonna make multiple types of droppers they're not all gonna look like this right here but i'm probably gonna use this one as a placeholder for all of them for now and then later on i'll go ahead and change some of them to look like a different dropper but yeah so i went ahead and went for a green look i might change the color later on but i feel like green looks pretty good for energy i could try yellow so this is what a yellow dropper would look like right here it actually doesn't look too bad, so I might use a yellow dropper, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the green for now. Let me know in the comments which color dropper I should use, green, yellow, or some other color. So we have this stuff in studio right now. Here are the buttons. So I made a green one. This one is gonna be buttons for things like the dropper and stuff, things that give you more money. The yellow one is going to be a button for game passes and stuff stuff you can buy for robux and then the red one is just gonna be like other assets and like decorations and stuff so now let's go ahead and change some of these buttons and yeah so let's step on the button and see if i did it correctly and i guess i did it so i figured out why it didn't work and it didn't work because whatever i use has to be a single mesh such as this right here it has to be a single mesh so i remade all of the buttons in blender and colored them in blender so sadly i can't really use the neon look like this but i can still color them like this which that's all right though so that means this as well over here i made this a single mesh and everything else so now it should work so what we need to do is grab this mesh and we need to name this head just like this and let's move it up here to the begin working Let's delete the old one. And here we go. So we can tell it works because it has the little name tag above it. So here we go. I went ahead and resized it. So now let's see if it works, which actually I forgot. I need to anchor all of this stuff right here. So it actually stays in place. So now let's move it right over here. So I'll just put it right there for now. And now let's go ahead and test. So now let's go ahead and test out. Let's step on this button. And there we go. Awesome. So then this is the beginning dropper that it gives us. So now that we know the button works, let's go ahead and add in the dropper and the upgrader. So I went ahead and added in a few things. I changed most of the buttons over here to the, the new buttons I made. I didn't change these ones because I'm just like mostly planning on deleting those things because I don't really want those in my tycoon. And I changed this dropper right over here. I didn't change this one 
just because I don't really need to change it just yet because I'm gonna make a new dropper for that. And I didn't change this one over here either. And this, I'm gonna be making all of that into like new items. But let's go ahead and play it and test it. So here we are. So far, it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and claim it. Let's touch this button. There we go. All right. So it looks like that's working and our button spawning is working as well. So here we go. We have $70. Let's go ahead and claim it and let's spawn in our dropper. So here is our dropper right here. Let's make sure it's working. So there it is. It looks like it's working pretty nicely. And I need to make sure that on the other ones that I actually like put this out a little bit farther. For this one, it was like barely farther enough. Like I kind of want it to land in the middle, but this one, it's all right. But I need to make sure to have the neck out far enough so it actually lands on the conveyor. But yeah, so it's now the next day and I made quite a bit of progress. I made some brand new models right here. So these are some models I just made. Not sure if I made this in the last part that I showed y'all, but I made the building right there. And I also made a little blue button because the red button, whenever you're playing, it kind of looks like you aren't able to afford it since it's red. So I changed the red button into a blue button. I made that little wall for the conveyor right there. And I also made this little thing. I made a box right there for a decoration, another upgrader. So I originally made half of this and it was gonna be another dropper, but then I mirrored it to the other side and it looked good as an upgrader. So I just kept it as an upgrader. And then over here, I made three more. So this one is the starter dropper that you have to click. And then this one I already made and I showed y'all. And then I made these two right here. This one is the second dropper. And then this one right here is the mega dropper. So if you go in here, I can go ahead and show y'all. And there's still a lot more that I need to get done, such as changing these two things right here. And I need to add a lot more decoration, a lot more droppers. And I need to add tons more stuff, but this is quite a bit of progress. So I made this thing right here and I added a button. I was just going to leave it like neon green like that. But then I figured that some people might not know that you actually have to click it. So I made it pretty obvious by adding a little click icon and the word click so the so that the player knows to click it. So that's the one you start off with and get for free. Then you can buy this one. Then you upgrade it to this one. Then upgrade to this one. You can buy this. And you can also buy this upgrade over here. There are going to be like two or three more droppers right here in the middle that the player can buy. But I haven't made them yet. So I'm just leaving that blank. And over here, as you can see, I changed the buttons over to blue. And I think they actually look a lot better as blue because whenever they were red, it looked like you can't afford them because these ones were green. And usually in some tycoons, the buttons turn red whenever you don't have enough money to buy them. So I just changed them blue instead. And also again, the green buttons are the buttons that you can buy to like get droppers and anything that would give you more money. And the blue buttons are just things for decoration. And this little wall thing that I was talking about, this thing right there. I went ahead and changed that into the conveyor. Now we have a pretty nice looking conveyor right now. And also for this building, I did originally model it in studio. So this is just like a base color. So I modeled it in studio and then I exported it over to Blender so then that the sizes would be correct and everything and that nothing would mess up because Roblox you can turn it on where you can like move everything by studs and it just makes it a lot easier and there are like no lines whenever you look at it like right here you can't really see where it like changes so i went ahead and brought it into blender and textured it and this is what it looks like now a lot better and also once again you can't really see the lines which i actually need to move this over there we go i also figured out how these groups work so now i can easily make brand new droppers and brand new upgraders and also easily add buttons for decoration the scripts are actually pretty simple. There are a few scripts that I still need to change, such as the leaderboard script up here. Like, I might remove the kills and deaths. Not really sure about those, but I'll definitely rename these. I don't really know why it's not named Fighting Bears. But yeah, so let's go ahead and claim it by this. I did modify the script right here so that each little energy square gives you a thousand. They're only going to give you one once the game actually releases. But I made it so each one gives you a thousand just so I can easily test and so I don't have to spend like 10 minutes gathering that. So here we go. Here are the droppers right here. The mega dropper, the upgrader. And as you can see, they're dropping. These ones do take a little bit longer since they do get more coins. And then here is the second upgrader, which looks pretty nice. And then of course, over here, we can buy boxes. And then we can also buy the walls like this. And as you can see, you can't even like see the little crack right there. And also by the windows and of course by the owner only door which I still haven't made a new model for and yeah so that is all the progress I made now that I know how all the scripts work and everything everything is gonna be so much more easier so the only thing I have left to do is expand it make a lot more droppers and I especially need to add more decoration I am planning on making a second floor 
I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna make a second floor or make it so you can expand like backwards or to the side and buy a second building. So either the next floor or the second building is gonna be purple. So instead of this bright green color, it's gonna be like bright purple. And it's gonna look pretty nice and yes yeah, so that is all the progress i made i am gonna go ahead and make multiple more videos about this such as a video of me expanding the place and a video about making ui i did go ahead and make a little bit ui so we can actually enable this right here which it didn't enable in there but now we can go over here and we can enable it just like this and this is the basic coin UI I made. I did make this before I started making the Tycoon because I was just like testing my UI skills. Of course, I didn't finish it. There are a still changes I need to make for this. But yeah, the player will probably earn coins from that since I already have the coin UI. I could just recolor this and make it into like money or like gems or anything else. But yeah, but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the UI in another video though. But yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be all for this video. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.